Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brent Insomniac and today we'll be talking about a series that I both love and hate. This will be another rant review simply because... This will be another rant review simply because I don't care and I have a lot to say about this game. No, I have not finished this game. And I will explain why at the end of the video because there's again a lot of there's a lot of things that I want to say about this fucking series that I just I just need to get out of off my chest. Okay. Disclaimer, as always, this is an adult channel. I don't care if children watch it. That's not my problem though, because YouTube's a bitch. I'm an adult channel. This game is kind of adult-ish. Well, this one, not the originals, but this one is more friendly to other people, so it's fine. But I'm just warning you anyways this channel not for children not for little fetuses go away out of the way let's begin so the menu on this game is actually really beautifully done at least in my opinion i think that the music is lovely i don't know if i can use it in the background i'll try but i'm kind of scared that i'll get fucking smacked with a copyright or something but no promises i'll probably use something else that's not gonna risk anything there's a shop in this game that i actually really do like although you'll notice on one of the recordings i'm pretty sure you'll see it soon for night four for some reason when i went to the shop there was it changed it went from the music box music thing to being 35 to 60 coins and then the main menu music being 75 coins instead of 110 and i don't know if that's because of progression or because there was an update or something but that that's just that's fine i'm just saying as to why it changed the mechanics of the game are quite simple at least i think so anyways you just have to it's, it's like any other fnaf game you just gotta look at the doors there's like you know lights button bling bling put them down all that shit but then there's also the puppet which is behind you which is i think is a unique mechanic i mean at least in my opinion i think it's kind of cool how instead of her being on your camera and you have to like scroll and shit it's like right behind you and you just gotta click the box shut you just gotta find the top of the box that she has and then you just gotta click on it and then she goes back into the box although in later nights it gets a lot harder to do that which makes sense i mean you're going on later nights whatever that's fine the first night is super easy i literally just did nothing i was just testing out the mechanics so i grabbed some tokens on the cameras which is another mechanic which i thought was really cool you can get tokens for like the drugs that you need <laughs> for your sanity for later on so that's that's nice and then you can also just look at the cameras for the people which is fine not like it matters later on at nights because it clearly doesn't matter whatever the fuck i do but i'll, I'll explain that later for some fucking reason they stopped making the mini games so after every single night up to night i think three there's a mini game that you have to do where you play as where you play as bonnie and you just shoot things to get more tokens and you score more points or whatever and each night you it asks for more people to be killed and i don't know why they got rid of that because that was like my favorite part of the night after being stressed out and not wanting to die <laughs> that was the most fun i had and then they just got rid of it for some reason so after every night you get kicked out into the main menu which is fine but it gets kind of annoying after a while i understand why they do that because you need to get more pills to keep your sanity up which is fine because again that's how you fucking play the game i don't mind that during night four however that's when things sort of got harder night one to three was easy for me i didn't i think i died maybe once on night three but that's just because i was not paying attention i don't know who the fuck killed me someone killed me it wasn't i don't think it was bonnie it wasn't chica i don't think it was freddy i think it was like spring bot I, I can't describe you can see it in the clips i don't fucking know who that was i'm i'm fucking dumb man someone killed me and i was so confused and that's fine and then i get to do playing that was fine i just continued playing it wasn't that big of a deal however however i will say on night four that's when i started raging just a little bit you see after night three that's when obviously shit hits the fan the marionette or puppet or whatever you want to call her she became more active and i i don't know if she does this only if you shut both doors at the same time but i did that just to like test out whether or not i could last a very long time with the door shut uh but she comes out of the she comes out of her box and goes into your face making you lose more sanity and you can't really do anything to stop that also sometimes if you press the door and chica's there she can hold it open so you have to press it a second time which makes things 
a lot harder because my dumbass didn't notice that until too late sometimes and I died. So that was fun. I always died around three by Freddy and I don't know why. I check the cameras. I make sure he's not there. Homie still comes in and kills me, which is fucking bullshit. I make sure that the puppet's fine. She's good. She does. She has never killed me like once. It's always been Freddy the, for night four and sometimes Chica. But again, that's just because I didn't understand the mechanics and I still don't understand the mechanics, which brings me on to another section of this, which is mechanics slash why the fuck are these so hard <laughs> slash why are these so goddamn hard so in each five nights at freddy's game that i've played so far fnaf 1 and fnaf 2 there's always audio cues right to make sure that you know that they're not there anymore i.e for foxy he bangs on your door and then leaves and goes back to his stage or you know like you just know that she and bonnie are gone but my point is, is there's always an audio cue when you do something for when they're about to go away. And that's not a thing in this one. Well, I mean it is, but it's fucking delayed as shit. So for Foxy, just like every other FNAF game, because they can't program it any other way foxy comes out of the cove you have to look at the camera to watch her run down the hall then you have to shut the door and only after you're done shutting the door and you wait like a really long ass time like a long ass time she'll finally bang on the door and bitch at you you're lucky if she goes back to stage when she's done banging on the door taking even more power from you because she won't go back to her fucking cove after sometimes she'll just not be there she won't be in front of the door but she won't be on her stage and I tried looking for her and she's never anywhere else. It's the same thing with Freddy and Bonnie and Chica throughout all these nights. You put down the door, Freddy doesn't knock on it for about 30 seconds, which wastes so much goddamn power throughout the night that I'm losing my shit. And then when she finally knocks on the door and you check, she's still fucking there. So you can't lift up the door. And then she knocks again. And then you try to see if she's not there anymore. You're lucky if she isn't there anymore when you lift it up. You're basically fucked instantly if you lift it up and she's still there. There is no indication when she's gone. There is no indication when any of them are gone. Their audio cues don't fucking count they don't matter in this scenario bros they don't fucking matter i was waiting there for so long for them to leave i don't know what i did wrong i was like oh maybe check the cameras i checked the cameras and then i went back and i clicked on the lights and they were still there boxy was nowhere to be seen not even around her cove or anything like that she did her knocking one game and i was like oh she's gone and then i lifted up the thing and she fucking killed me in my opinion this is just broken because i should be able to know when they're gone i shouldn't have to fucking keep the doors down for 30 seconds which by the way in this game the timer at the top that shows you how, what time it is before you have to go at six counts every second right so and like 30 seconds so say it's like 12 right 12 30 rolls around your power's going down to like 70 already and foxy is still not back in her cove and freddy is still active at your door and you're basically fucked i can't do anything and it's always on night four around three that is when everyone wants to fucking kill you that is when everyone becomes angry and active and that is when i decided to shut both doors and that is when i figured out the whole puppet comes out and tries to kill you with your sanity i realized that it's basically impossible to beat this night with well obviously with both doors down but it's also impossible to beat this night because of the amount of bullshit that foxy is pulling and freddy is pulling the marionette is fine the puppet wiyuji that one's fine bonnie and chica are also bullshit they will stand at your door i believe i had audio on for this so you could probably hear it i'll leave a clip in if i find one but chica will stand at your door and she will just laugh at you and then bang on the door say some cheesy line and then when you click on the light or anything she's still fucking there stands there for a really long time then does that again which is bullshit and she keeps doing it for a very long time before leaving causing you to die i really like this game i really like the mini games i like the tokens i like the shop the shop is nice like buying more menu themes is really cool i love the fucking songs don't get me wrong they're amazing i love the idea of the shop and everything else what i will never enjoy however is the fact that all of them are broken i have to wait 30 seconds on one of them, like 25 on another, 15 on the next, and it's random by the way, the audio cues don't line up with them leaving. The audio cue just fucking happens whenever. 
Like, I could hear them talking to me this whole time, and I'm like, okay, they're just talking, whatever. Check the door, they're not there at all. Check the camera, they're not even close to the door. Go back to the door, they're right there. Put down the door, bada bing, bada boom, they stay there for the end of time. They are stubborn as fuck, and I don't know how to get rid of them. I don't hate this game, actually. In fact, I love this game. This game looks really good. It's impressive. It's a lot nicer looking than the original, I'll give you that. It's actually a lot more decent. The original's definitely something, you know? Fuck the original. This one's interesting. I like this one a lot, actually. But if your game is this goddamn broken, that I can't even beat this night, and I'm trying, y'all. I, I spent yesterday and the day before. While I'm recording this, it is the 11th. I spent the 10th and the 9th trying to beat night four for so long but you i can't i maybe i'm just not good enough for this game but i don't understand how the hell people beat it i will try and get someone else to do it for me but like i i can't do that it's not possible for me it's i was originally going to make this for my the chronicles of horror series which should be out soon by the time this video comes out this game isn't scary it's just really annoying for me this FNAF fan game is just, it makes me so angry because I don't understand anything. It's not fun to play. It's pissing me off, actually. Which is why I gave up on recording more of this because I can't. This game just, I gave up on it so fast, guys. I am so sorry. But how am I supposed to enjoy something that is this broken, super unfair, and doesn't do basic stuff like all the other ones. I'm not saying basic controls. I'm saying basic audio cues. Make it line up with them. That's all I'm asking. That's literally the only thing I want is to for Foxy to go back into her cove when she's done banging at your door and running at you. Not a delayed banging on the door. Did I mention that? She doesn't actually, when she runs at you, she doesn't automatically bang at your door. You have to wait a while for her to bang at your door and then she goes away however she's not actually gone you have to wait another audio cue and then she's back on her stage which is again another problem i want to do fire nights in animes one two and three as well the originals but i'm worried that i will get my ass beat by youtube so i might not do them but i might do them possibly on an end note i know that i said that i wouldn't be playing any more fnaf games or fnaf related games and yeah that's true i don't like playing fan games or regular fnaf however they will be coming up more on my channel just due to views but also due to the fact that i have a series coming up where i will be playing games that i haven't beaten due to my anxiety to try and curb that fear i guess and fnaf is on that and some fan games are also on that like one night at flumpty is fnaf one two three four five six you name it they're probably gonna be on it i won't all be fnaf related but that's just some of them so i hope that's okay with everyone i don't know I know that my channel is mainly for mini games. I know that my channel is made for smaller creators. And it'll always remain that way. I just want to make that clear right now that I will always support smaller channels. You can always check out smaller channels on my channel page. Subscribe if you haven't, by the way. There will always be smaller creators on my channel from 10 subscribers to 50 subs to 100 subs you name it they're probably going to be featured on this channel's little thing so you can go follow them and watch what they're doing i will never stop supporting smaller creators smaller games i'm just opening up myself to other games because that was my plan this whole time to do that channel series and show people that and to show people that have anxiety that horror games and scary games in general not just horror but scary are worth playing even if you have anxiety or you have a massive fear of them like i do it's still fun to do and i hope you guys check it out it'll be linked in the description when it does come out it should be out within like a week of this video coming out i believe this one is coming out on the 17th of january but i could be wrong so don't jinx it here i just woke up so that's probably why i sound different than my usual videos if i sound sick that's probably why i just thought it would be important to make this video because i feel like people need to be more honest in the reviews call me harsh or a critic or whatever but if people are wanting to play your game they should know all aspects of the game from the problems to the good i think that this game is nice i just don't like how hard it is considering how 
popular I guess this once was. It should have been fixed 100% and I'm kind of disappointed that it wasn't fixed before. So I hope that if the creator does see this video or something that they fix it. Because if you yourself didn't even notice the delays of the animatronics and there's something wrong here. If I'm the only one experiencing the delays, I don't... I don't know what to tell you. It's definitely not my computer here. It's definitely the game itself. I'm not trying to be harsh in any of my reviews. I'm being brutally honest. That is just who I am. If I don't like a game, you will probably know. If I'm raging in a game, you will know. I mentioned that on my Twitter, actually. I hope this video wasn't too long for you guys to sit down and watch. I really appreciate everyone who comes by. All the new people have been so kind, at least the majority. I have loved the hate comments. <laughs> I have loved some of the hate comments. I live for those, and I also live for the really kind ones, so I'm hoping my voice is okay, because apparently my voice is soothing for some people, which I find is kind of creepy, I'm sorry, but it's also really sweet, so I'm just saying thank you for all the new people, thank you for the people that are subscribing. Shout out to Purple Guy on Twitter, who helped me find the original Five Nights in Anime. You're the best, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. All of my social medias will be linked in the description from Twitter to YouTube to Roblox and more. I hope you all have an amazing day and I hope you drink some water and rest if you need to. Have an amazing day guys. Peace out.